Hello, it's Carrie Bradford, and I am going to show you how you can use um, probably just about any shape as an overlay on a photo. In this particular situation, I'm going to be using um, designs from the Magicalness Kit. Uh, it was something that I had uh, done with some photos earlier, and I just thought I'd show you how you can use that. Uh, those designs and use them as photo overlays within Silhouette Studio. You can also use these in Photoshop. Um, they, it comes with a PNG file so you can easily use them in Photoshop but I'm going to show you how you can use your DXF or SVG file to work as a photo overlay in Studio. So as you can see here I've brought up my photo. All I had to do is just go into File and Open and find the photo that I wanted to work with. And now I want to go ahead and get the overlay that I want to put on there. Now in the Magicalness Kit, it comes in several different sizes. There is a 12 by 12 size that you could use as a background or to put over an entire piece of you know colored paper or something. You can add it to your design that way. It also comes in um, vertical or horizontal dimensions for 4 by 6 or four and a half by six for those like smartphones. And so as you can see here, anything that has a V in front of it means it's a vertical photo. If it doesn't have one in front of it, it just means it's just your standard four by six horizontal photo. And then as you can see, there's 12 by 12 as well. There are two uh, particular designs, the circles and the diagonal stripes that can be used either way. And so it doesn't really matter um, if there was a vertical or, or horizontal presentation because they worked, you know, it, it worked the same going both ways. Now, the reason why there are four and a half, you know, the, the, the photo size as well as the large size is because then you can just pull up just the photo size and have it work precisely on your photo without having to go, okay, is this going to work? Is it going to finagle? Do I need to overlay it? But then you also have like the 12 by 12 size so that if you wanted to finagle even more than what the photo sizes allow then you could do that. Say you have a 6 by 8 photo that you want to work with then you could use that 12 by 12 size to overlay onto your photo if you wanted to. So for this particular one I just have a 4 by 6 vertical photo and I want the heart shape so I'm going to come down here to magic heart and I want the vertical 4 by 6 right here. This is the one that I want. And currently, I am choosing the DXF file. Even though I have the designer edition up and going on my computer here, I am using the DXF file just to show the people that don't have the designer edition how you can work with that. And then I'll show you just really quick how you can work with the SVG as well. So let's go ahead and open that. And as you can see, it comes up in the size that you need. And you can see it's all cut off and trimmed exactly for a 4 by 6 photo. So now before we move this over to our photo, let's go ahead and add some color to this now. And we want it to be white because we're going to give it a transparency so it's just kind of very shaded, you know, very translucent. So I'm going to come up here to my fill color and I'm going to go ahead and choose that as white. And then I'm going to take my line color and choose that to none. And now it looks like there's nothing there. And just for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and just group that. But what we can do is come back to our page window. And then we can slide the reveal cutting mat down. And you can see that it truly is there. So let's go ahead and press Control C. And then I'm just going to move over to my photo and press Control V. And then just select them both. Come up to our align window. And then choose center. And so now you can see that they the the hearts are there and that could be a cute thing to do is just to have them solid but I of course want to have it translucent so I'm just going to go ahead and select that come up to the fill choose advanced and then take the transparency down to let's see maybe about 65 percent and then I want to change this one little heart right here so that it is red so I'm going to ungroup what I've got and then choose this one, bring the transparency back up, choose red, and I want to slide that down so it's a deeper shade of red. I don't want it to be too obnoxious. And there you go. And then you could just go ahead and print this as a photo from within Studio. So there's that one way on how you can work with it. I'm just going to go ahead and just 
select these items and move that out of the way. And now just to show you, when you pull up the SVG file, file, open, and I'm going to go to the SVG directory and pull up the magic heart. We want the vertical 4 by 6 and you can see that it is done in gray and so I'm going to group it together by pressing Control G or Command G. Come to the fill color, choose white, again it disappears. So to see it we're just going to come to our page window and take the reveal cutting mat down and you can see that truly is actually there. And then you can just work with it in the same fashion. Now one other fun way that you can use these designs is you can make this, say you're doing a project life uh, page, you can use this as a cutout for a 4x6 card or you know you could you know use the big 12x12 12 12 design and make a great big huge lacy paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and come in here ahead and choose Magic Chevron 4x6 SVG file and we need to select all of it and I'm just going to move it kind of in the center so it kind of looks a little easier to work with. Just for the sake of grouping it I'm just going to go ahead and I can you can do right click and group or control or command G for group. Now what you can do is I'm going to reduce this in size, come to our scale window, and I'm going to reduce it by let's say 95% and then say apply. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle around it, select that, and I'm going to put in a fixed width of 6 by 4 and say apply. Now let's go ahead and zoom it in a little bit and we're just going to kind of set it in the middle there and I think actually I kind of want to make it just a little bit smaller. I'm just going to kind of maybe go about like so and just kind of finagle it a little bit so that it just kind of sits inside there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and Let's center all that. And now if we go ahead and choose both of them, right click and choose make compound path, you can see that that has changed the sort of the dynamics of the way that is going to cut. If I fill it with color, come over here and we'll just fill it with a yellow. You can see how that's going to cut and then you just made yourself a cute little cut file for that. So this kit is really versatile in that it was technically designed for the, an overlay in mind. But it can go beyond that. It can become a cut file, whether it's just cutting a shape within the cardstock or adding an outside line to it so that it becomes a design element that you could put within your project life or as a background piece within your page or whatever. So again, very versatile and just lots and lots and lots of fun, lots of possibilities. All right, thanks for stopping by.